and when the second chapter uh, begins uh, the focus shifts from Santiago Nasser to uh, Bayardo. Bayardo San Roman we are told is a man in his 30s. He is unmarried and he has come to this particular town only six months ago and he has come here to get married and eventually he decides to marry Angela Vicario. Now Angela Vicario belongs to a lower class. She is not a very rich she doesn't belong to a very rich family. She belongs to a poor family. Though she does not love uh, this man, Bayardo San Roman. But since Bayardo San Roman is a well, is a is a man from a wealthy family, so there is no reason for Angela Vicario to reject his proposal. Now, eventually, Angela would be getting married to this man, Bayardo. Now, as they get married in the evening. We are told that Angela Vicario is not a virgin. Now, nobody knows in the, in the village, in the town that Angela is not a virgin. But when Bayardo comes to know that she is not a virgin, what he does, he breaks off the marital knot with her and he sends her back home. Now, at this time, most of the people were at the dock receiving the, uh, with the bishop. Now, most of, them, most of them were there. There somebody comes to know that jo Angela has given her home. Now, as Angela comes home, her mother would beat her. And then the two twin brothers, Pablo and Pedro, both do, these twins would come home. Now, for whole day, they were with Santiago on that particular day. Though as they come home, they find their sister there. So they ask her, why have you come back? Now, she says, this is the reason why I have come back. Now, they ask her, who was responsible for this? That you are not a virgin, that your virginity has been ravished. Who was the person responsible for it? Now, at this point of time, Angela says that he was Santiago. Now, Santiago does not know about all these things, but suddenly he come into the picture that Santiago ravished uh, the virginity of Angela. Now, it is at this point of time that Pablo and Pedro would decide to, to kill Santiago, to murder Santiago. Now, it would become an honor killing. Now, when Pablo decides to murder uh, this Santiago, he is already betrothed to Prudentia. Now, this Prudentia, she also exploits his opportunity and she says that if Pablo would not kill Santiago, she would not marry him. Now, here concludes the second chapter and then we enter into the third chapter. Now, this third chapter would be when this plan is carried out. Now, both Pablo and Pedro, they have made a plan of murdering Santiago. What they do, they go and they buy two sharp knives. Now, those two sharp knives are bought by them and they wrap them in a newspaper and they go to a nearby milk shop, which is a central shop uh, where people come and go. So, if you have a lot of people who are in the shop, you can see that the milk shop is not bad. Because you can see that the milk shop is not bad. And then you can see that the milk shop is not bad. In this case, you can see that the milk shop is not bad. And then you can see that the milk shop is not bad. And then you can see that the milk shop is not bad. And then you can see that the milk shop is not bad. And then you can see that the milk shop is not bad. And then you can see that the milk shop is not bad. And then you can see that the milk shop is not bad. पैब्लो और पेड्रो जो है प्लान कर रहे हैं मर्डर किसका सेंटियागो का तो वो बंदा जाके पैब्लो और पेड्रो को पकड़ता है हालांकि उसको इनिशियली इस बात का यकीन नहीं होता लेकिन इवेंचुअली जब वो उनके पास से वो नाइव्स वो चाकू दरियाफ्त करता है तो उनको बोलता है कि तुम लोग गलत कर रहे हो लेकिन उनको छोड़ देता है और वो घर चले आते हैं पर उसको ये अंदाजा होता है कि अब ये दोनों लोग जो है उसका मर्डर नहीं करेंगे लेकिन ये दोनों वापस जाते हैं और दोबारा से जो है नए उसी तरह के दो चाकू खरीदते हैं उनको तेज करते हैं और मर्डर की प्लानिंग करते हैं अब पुलिस भी जो है वो खामोश रहती है उनको भी लगता नहीं है कि अभी कोई मर्डर होने वाला 